What's going on, my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's video, we're actually going to be feeding all of the snakes. Every single snake that I have will be in today's video. Now, if they'll eat or not, I don't know. If you guys have watched any of my last uh, feeding videos, it doesn't always go as planned. Um, but today, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, it'll be an interesting one. Uh, I'm actually going to be feeding some of the snakes some quail. Um, so we'll see how they take to that. But we are going to go ahead and start off with the green tree python and the emerald tree boa today. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it and uh, feed these guys. <laughs> Alrighty everybody, welcome back to the video. So we got Venom here and we have Venus here, which looks like he needs some new perches um, cause he knocked that one down again and he is just hanging out on this other perch. So we're gonna go ahead and see if either of these two will eat for us today. Oh, we're gonna start with, uh, start with Venus. Start with Venus, have, the rats up here, nice thought out, and we're gonna see if he wants it. So, sometimes you gotta agitate him a little bit. Now, I normally feed these guys at night, um, but since they are not in my reptile room, um, I kind of just have to work around you know a different schedule so um that's why i said they may or may not eat which is rare for venus though venus usually always eats so sometimes especially with these arboreal snakes you gotta kind of Agitate them a little bit to uh, get them to wake up. And we are not off to a great start with this video. So what I'm going to do is leave it there. And we'll come back and check on him to see if he's eating it. Um, I will turn off his light. Um, let me see if I can. There we go. I'll turn off his light as well to see if that'll help. But as of now uh venus is a no-go so um let's get his enclosure closed back up and secure we'll turn his little night light on so and then this window that i have isn't normally open i'm just using it for better lighting so now we're gonna try it out and the way he likes to go after my fingers, we'll see if he'll eat for us, which. Now I will say when it comes to feeding him, he is a piece of work. I might have to literally sometimes put it like right in front of his mouth and kind of get him to open his jaws a little bit for him to grab it because he is a diva. It's not the biggest striker, um, which it's been a couple of weeks since he's eaten for me. So that's why I really want to make sure he takes a meal today and he's definitely interested. His mouth is opening a little bit. And um, the one thing that I can tell you guys about my snakes is all of my snakes, since I've had them long enough, um, I've developed to, well, I've kind of caught on to what their habits are. So I kind of know what I need to do to get them to eat or, you know, just to get them to behave a, a certain way. Um, so that's one thing. That's why. Some people are not too fond of, you know, shoving the rat in the snake's face, but sometimes that's literally what you have to do to get the snake to eat. I'm not harming him in any way. I'm just kind of putting the rat near his nose um, just to kind of encourage him. But with him, if he doesn't take it, then he's not going to eat. 
I can't just lay it in there like I would Venus. And we're definitely not off to a great start. We are currently 0 for 2, so 2 down, 10 to go. So let's go down to the basement and we can see if the other 10 snakes will eat for us. Alrighty everybody, so we are back down here in the basement or the reptile dungeon, the snake dungeon as I like to call it. Um, we're going to start off here with Khalifa. Um, she is going to be getting quail, so we're going to go ahead and see if she takes it. And there we go. Okay, need the tongs back. So finally, first snake to actually bite. And she is relentless when it comes to feeding. Actually, let me get a better her. Relentless when it comes to feeding. Alrighty, so behind Khalifa is Kato. Right here. He's actually he actually just got out of his enclosure a couple of days ago. What happened is he found a weak spot and one of the hinges came loose and I didn't know. And he basically just pushed it and he was able to get out through this corner. Um, so what I did was I just took some super glue and some Gorilla Tape just to re-secure it. But he won't be in this enclosure too much longer. Um, obviously now because I can't tr trust that he'll stay in here. But uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is give Kato his uh, rat. Kato is definitely one of my snakes um, since I got him that does not like to eat from the tongs. So I still try to see if he'll take it. Usually he doesn't. So I don't really try along with him or push it in there. He'll just hiss. So I usually lay it like right at the doorway of his hide and he will get it that way. Alrighty everybody. So here is T'Challa, Mexican Black King Snake. Probably can't see his head right there literally in the middle of the screen so we're going to see if we can there we go see if we can bring them out you got you got to latch on to it bro come on come on there we go and he usually just kind of, kind of takes it to the depth of depths of where he wants to take it and he he does pretty good uh, i never have an issue with him the one thing i can say is when my snakes were smaller they had a bigger appetite so uh, my colubrids and my smaller boas and pythons never have an issue So not well, besides Loki. Um, Loki's not a bad eater, he's just a shy eater. Um, but that is who we have next, which for those of you that are not familiar with Loki, um, Loki is my white lip python. One of my favorite snakes. Likes to hang out here in his hide. I like to try to encourage all of my snakes to take from the tongs. Nine times out of 10. This particular snake, I know he won't. So, we're gonna lay it right there. Now this next, the next three snakes definitely should strike. If they don't, I will be surprised. The next two are boas, and then that third snake is actually my berm, my Burmese python, so. Um, all right, well, um, Apparently I was taking too long and the key actually struck before I was ready. Um, but there she is. She took her rat a little bit on the larger side um, for her, um, but it came in the bag with um, the size she normally eats, which is uh, she eats what's called like a uh, small, small. So not quite a small rat, um, but just a tad bit bigger than a hopper rat um, because the hopper, she seemed to go through very quickly and she usually takes these guys. So we'll keep an eye on her for sure. It's not extremely big, but it's slightly noticeably bigger than what she normally eats. Now we have Bane, which is the Motley Boa and you know, when he smells food, he usually comes flying out. As you can see, back up because this guy is feeding responses. There we go. And there he is. Crazy hungry, as always. Okay, so let's close that up. I'm going to back up because... Zeus is just as bad, if not worse, when it comes to eating. Surprisingly, he backed up. Let me get him. So he's gonna get 
Oh, okay, big fella. Okay, he's gonna get Quell also, as you can see. <sighs> dude's, dude's appetite is crazy. Um, but I mean, that's what you get when you deal with big snakes. Let me actually <sighs> try to put him back because he is like halfway out of his enclosure. <sighs> All right, so now we have the diva of the crew. Oh, I actually gotta put some more water in there because someone pooped in it, forgot to put uh, put new water in there. Um, he's been a real diva lately where he doesn't wanna strike at his food. Oh, there we go. He took it, oh, I missed it. There he is, he took it though, so that's great. Lately, he's been acting like he doesn't wanna strike at his food. So that's been good, so. We got two more snakes, which is Luther the boa and M'Baku the ball python. I know M'Baku's not gonna strike at his food, but I'll lay the rat in there for him. And then we have Luther over here, which, oh, his feeding response is nutty, but we will go ahead and get him some um, food as well. All right, he had to, had to get the big guy's attention because he was facing the other way, but there he is now. And there you go. Alrighty, and our last snake to feed is M'Baku, um, my ball python. So M'Baku has not eaten in three months for me now. Um, but I still try to offer him food. Um, he looks like he's hungry today. He's got his head poking out. So we shall see, we shall see. But I mean, he he pump fakes on me all the time where he'll act like he's hungry and then he'll just not eat. Um, but if he doesn't, I am gonna leave the right in there for him overnight. And that's usually how he eats as well. So let me actually go ahead, slide the lid back. I see his head poked back when he heard that noise. Let me see if that is what he wants. So again, no strike, um, but we're gonna go ahead and leave the right in there for him. Um, you know, usually once the lights go out, um, snakes are pretty active, so I'm not too worried about it. But we got all of these snakes fed, including the two upstairs, so yep. All right, everybody, that is the end of the video. I appreciate you guys coming along with me to feed my snakes. I have a lot of snakes for those of you that want to get into snakes and you want to have a big collection uh feeding them it's fun yes but it's very tiring and when you're a husky guy like myself <laughs> whew, you're gonna sweat but anyways i appreciate you guys coming along with me hope you guys did enjoy the video seeing all of the snakes um let me know what type of videos you guys want to see next my last couple of videos well not last couple but i got a couple of videos that were actually um, ideas from you guys and you know I don't mind taking ideas from you guys let me know what you guys want to see uh, just to make sure you guys aren't being bored and you're enjoying the content um, but also um, follow me on Instagram at DW Exotics hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already turn those post notifications on so you don't miss any uploads I already said follow me on Instagram so uh, as always stay exotic <laughs>